Hello! Hi! Hi! Um, welcome to another episode of me and Grace playing the game Your Turn to Die. Right now, where are we, Grace? We are in some weird place. We are. It's very blue. What we have to do right now is finally meet everyone. Just been dying, Yay. dying to meet. Um, we I, love meeting characters that we I'm really know. curious about this kid in the beanie, because he's the guy that we saw at the beginning of the game. Looks like Joe is already awake. In the center, there's a discussion happening, centered around a single man. Now hold on a second. We should confirm what each of us know. This was the guy you kept saying looked like Nagito. What in the world? <laughs> I had quite a terrible experience earlier, so I can't remain calm. <laughs> I should laugh at like that. Ew. Gross. They seem pretty confused. Huh? Joe! Joe? He's also wearing one of those collars. Oh yeah, they have a bunch of collars. With a shiver, I touched my own neck. There was something. Oh, why is her neck so small? Like, why her hand looks like? Can't get it off. Everyone here had a collar put on them. That's weird. The discussion centered around the man in the middle. Continued. Joe's there too, but he can't get a word in. Yo. This guy. His his eyes are what's pulling me in. He seems so awkward. I love him. Some slightly calmer people are talking on the left. What's going on? Feel like feels like we're wrapped up in something outrageous. Red haired giant. Yes, it would appear so. Huh. Have I seen this person somewhere? We know him. What in the world? <laughs> Yo! The girl squatting seems terribly frightened. <laughs> Did something happen? Is she wearing a bucket on her head? <laughs> Yo. Looking right, I noticed an especially restless woman. Wrath! We've been abducted by some crazy assholes. You notice. Wow. Be oh no. <laughs> Why is he dressed in a cat? Be quiet, meow. Don't scream in my ear. Woof. Is he a cat or is he a dog? I don't know. Hey, hey now. Fighting's no good. I could feel the tension in the air. There's even a grade school age kid? Their discussion is still going on. Finally, my head was starting to clear. There are 11 people here, including myself. All of us are wearing collars. Why isn't Joe coming over to me? Has he not noticed I'm awake? Run up and punch Joe! <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what happens if we run up and punch Joe, but that's mean. So we're just going to call for Joe. Joe! Good. So you're okay. Who oh. are you? Yo, what? Oh, I'm... I'm Joe. I'm Joe! Done. My man! I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> My man. I'm done. What? What kind of joke was that? <laughs> what are you saying? I'm Sarah. Did you forget your own friend's face? Don't tell me. He's seriously saying he doesn't know me or something? Dude. That's messed up. Oh my god! <sighs> Can you be the Sarah who's a terrible swimmer? What? Joe! 
This is not time. the time for jokes. Yeah, Joe, what the hell? My bad, my bad. <laughs> so he was kidding around with us. That was Yes. Me. Why is blonde and not spelled with an E? That, wow, that, that, that makes me annoyed. Mm. Joe and Sarah, eh? Uh-huh. You two are friends? Eh? E yes, we are. Thanks for that. Joe here wasn't speaking up. Must have been wary of something. Wouldn't even tell me his name. Alright, everybody. Listen up. I bet we're all thinking the same thing. What is this place? Why was I brought here? And about all you know is who you are. What are you getting at, I wonder? How about we give introductions? Did ease the suspicion a little, at least. Introductions, okay. Not a whole lot else we can do. Am I right, Sarah? Huh? You're asking me? Sure. Yeah! True. I want to clear up our situation. See? The calm ones know what to say. Okay, once you're ready, it's introduction time. Tell me one, Sarah. Right then. Time to give introductions? Um, yeah. Okie dokie. Man said okie dokie. Oh. Oh, we're having a- oh. Okay. Oh, shit! Oh, jeez. They're taking introductions seriously. Yeah, not really. So then. I think we should all get to know each other a little more. Yeah, so. Mom tells me not to give personal info to strange guys I don't know. Woof. God, I don't want to say oh. meow and woof all the time. Stupendous! A level-headed child who does as his parents teach him. Yet, this is indeed an emergency. Hmm. <laughs> Where are your eyes? Then we must prove that we adults are not suspicious characters. Mwahaha. Uh, super suspicious. Woof. Nothing for it. Well, where should we start? Hey, we can keep it simple. Name and occupation. Take turns saying them. That's the ticket. Hmm. Got it. The wary ones can be for later. Raise your hand if you don't mind blabbing. Hello. I am Kazumi Mishima. I teach at a certain high school. <laughs> Stop laughing. Eh? You're a school teacher? Woof. The world's going to the dogs. Meow. <laughs> Name's Reko Yakusame. I'm a singer-songwriter. Oh, I think I've seen you in magazines. You're THE Reko Yabusame? Dude, is this the time? Sorry. I am Kai Sato. I'm a rather unremarkable homemaker. What's the stuff behind you? It's a frying pan. A ladle. A spatula. I... I didn't mean it like that. Kitaro Burgerberg. I'm a baseball player. Second string, though. Kinda giving me Leon vibes. I know. Very much. Whoa! That's why you're so big. 193 centimeters. And strong to boot, you hear? <laughs> Seems no one else wants to talk. Well then, Sarah. How about you try asking things to people you want to hear from? Why do you- why are you- what? M me? Yep. Yeah, why up? Uh Unlike me, people aren't wary of you, right? His oh! face- ah! I understand. I do want to question people, but... Oh. <laughs> I'm kind of worried about her. Why is her outfit so ugly? I don't like the green. It just doesn't match. Like it, it doesn't. I'll start with who I'm most concerned about. Okay. 
crumble, crumble, crumble. <laughs> oh. So there we go. Yeah. Just not in the condition to talk. Uh, I think we want to calm her down first. Yeah. Are you okay? <laughs> I can't. Yo, out of context. What she's saying? <laughs> Don't be afraid. I won't do anything. I gently place my hand on her trembling back. Ah. But thank you very much. It looks like she has bells in her. It does. Is that is that what that is? Do you think she jingles when she walks? <laughs> <laughs> it seems she calmed down a little. <clears throat> I'll try talking to her again. Still in no condition to talk. Yeah. Hmm. My best meal is Eggs Benedict. <laughs> um, a chef, eh? No, not a chef, but a homemaker. Akin to a house husband. Oh. Huh. Same want... difference if you both make tasty food. I want Kai to be my house husband. <laughs> Same. I suppose so. I feel like I've met this person somewhere. Uh... Where did you get those utensils? Keeping it safe. <laughs> oh, the frying pan and whatnot. They were in a room I was in earlier. That's... So you got them after arriving here? Yes, that's correct. I felt they could offer protection. Ah. It didn't even occur to me. Would you like to use one? Huh? For protection? Yes. I'll offer anything but the firing <clears throat> Rapunzel much, okay. Um, then I'll pass. Listen, the other two are good weapons, though. I felt like I met him somewhere. But talking to him, it doesn't feel that way at all. Is it just my imagination? Perhaps I should discard my cook. Hmm, but it could be useful for something. At the least, I bet I could make eggs benedict. Yeah, I'd remember it if I met such a weirdo. Uh, Greco. Just like the flirty guy said, my band's made enough of a name to get into magazines. See, he is an incel. <laughs> I swear to God, if you just meet Joe and your first impression of him is that he's a flirty guy, he is an incel. Don't call me the flirty guy. He'd finally made it to the starting line. The whole future stretched ahead of us. Um, is that makeup for performances? Like hell. The fans sweep if I went on stage with them this plane. That's plain? I finished a new track, so I had plans to meet with my bandmates. And then this shit happens. For a session, I guess? Clearly, she can't contact them. Oh, yeah, the other one. <laughs> Probably. Damn it. To lose something so important. My precious bongos. Man, my bongos. <laughs> That's. Bongos. Damn kidnappers. If you throw out my stuff, I'm gonna beat your ass so hard. I is now the time to worry about belongings? Some of that stuff's as important as my life. Uh, I'm sorry. All her stuff was taken, huh? <laughs> Kitaro. Okay. Bye. Yeah, I'm a ball player, but if you work out too much and hurt your hurt yourself, you will never hit the big leagues. Even among this bunch, this guy stands out. Yeah, literally, he's the tallest person there. No kidding. What is it, indeed? Grew up in a strange orphanage, so probably it's a mix of a whole bunch. 
but it was in Japan, so that's my nationality. Parents left when I was little, though, and I don't know where I was born. Ain't nothing can't be fixed if you talk it out. Incidentally, I believe baseball has physical. I'm a pitcher, confident in my batting, too. And I was lucky enough to go to Central League. I don't really follow, but does that mean you're good at throwing the ball and hitting it with the bat? Well, yeah, that's right. I don't know baseball either, but he seems pretty proud of his strength. I was all happy after a long and coming ba comeback game, so I went drinking, and I then I don't remember a thing. Then I wake up, I got a collar on this on in this place, like I'm a dog or something. Such a bummer. Can't believe I can't get this thing off. Even his strength can't remove it. Oh, Mishima. Mishima? Incidentally, I teach Japanese in art. <laughs> huh. School teacher? Can't picture it. Indeed, I hear that often. I've got no right to say it, but you're suspicious from every angle. You truly don't have any right to say that. Apologies to the professor, please. Oh no. This little miss. Pardon. You see, she is a former student of mine. Please forgive her. He's a really good teacher. Please don't judge a book by its cover. I suppose my appearance is shady after all. How shocking. Stop doing that with your arm. <laughs> well, don't have much else to judge you on. Don't know much about you either, little miss. I'll introduce myself. There's nothing guilty about us. Well, excuse me. It's time to cool down, yes. Should I ask Professor Mishima something? Uh, memories. It was a joyous day. My students <laughs> wished to be taught oil painting. <laughs> so I held a lesson on my that. secret atom. <laughs> I am a liar. Everyone loves the professor. Well, I drove. Teacher, so I can relate. I drove everyone home as well, and while heading for the last house, there was a security checkpoint. After being stopped there, it seems I lost cons consciousness. When I woke, the first trial began. We emerged safe thanks to our combined wit, saved by my own student. First trial. We can now talk to her, or we can talk. To I want to. I want to talk to her first because I gotta save the best for last. Ah, oh, for real. <laughs> I'm the former student at Professor Mishima's, currently at an art college. My name is Nawa Gogoro. It's thanks to Professor Mishima that I attend an art college now. The professor's a good person. Please believe me, Sarah. I I'm not especially doubting it. Yep. This Mr. Policeman here who suspected him, he's a- Then please repent! Sure. Is he- wait, he's a- what? Sure. Professor Mishima's not suspicious. So, so you understand? In that case, my work here is done. Yo. I should ask now something, too. I guess first trial. Yeah, because we already know how she got there. Yeah. The first trial? It was terrifying. It was a game where we were tied to beds and had to escape with just one key. That's the same thing we did. I... Professor Mishima instructed me to use the sandpaper on the key. Then I unlocked his restraints. Honestly, it seems to him I was able to stay calm. Trust. Was that a game that evaluated trust? Why... Will the culprit make us do that? Were they watching? Watching a despicable game that toys with people's lives. Sarah, are you okay? You look angry. Uh, I'm fine. I don't like that policeman, but I kind of like you, Sarah. 
Eh? Please take good care of your friend. <laughs> Stay. Okay. I guess we Stay. should talk to Keiji. Yes. Huh? Did I not introduce myself? My name is Keiji Shinogi. Working as a policeman. Huh? Police? Oh. You got it. You don't trouble your friendly police. Well, not that I'm really that sort of cop. But then you should have mentioned that sooner. I got abducted in the middle of an investigation. It was tough to find a chance to tell her. I shouldn't have been wary. Damn it. Wonder if we got caught by that criminal group. Criminal group? A group of petty thieves. I doubt they're related to this, honestly. None of your co-workers are here? There aren't. So that's not like everyone came in pairs. Hey, Joe, we can speak to Joe now. Me and Sarah, high school classmate. Sarah was being harassed by a stalker, so I went home with her that day. Then there was an incident, so I called the police, but I still don't know how he got into our house. Or why he came back. Just saying. That's true. I heard Sarah screaming, so I ran upstairs. And there stood that damn stalker. Huh? That's the first I've heard of that. <laughs> Didn't have a chance to mention it. So I worked up all my courage to punch the guy. Oh. Of course. I'm awful at fighting, so since I don't remember winning, guessing I lost. That's why I know that stalker is the culprit in the case. Interesting. Go on. Sorry, but that's all I got since I fainted. Then again, this isn't a stunt just one jerk stalker could pull by himself. It's an organized crime. Right, Mr. Cop? Could be. Wonder if there's one in our midst. Collaborator with the culprit. Playing the victim to blend in. Huh? Hearing Joe say that, I understood. Why he'd been so wary. Acting so strange. <laughs> what is it? You wanna laugh? You can't say there isn't- You sure are funny. <laughs> I hate this guy. A collaborator with the culprit? Maybe there could be something like that. Uh, I should introduce myself too soon. Fine, I can read the room. Whoop. It's, you know, the mature response. Meow. Stop. Uh, well then, did I introduce myself too? My name's So Hiori. Er, well, just a job hopper. <laughs> so, living hand to mouth, meow? Uh, uh, hey, don't put it like that. Not a ton, but I've got savings. Why wouldn't you introduce yourself at first? Naturally, I was wary like Joe was. Plus, saying I'm a job hopper is a little embarrassing. <laughs> Just make up some lie, meow. You're honest to a fault, woof. Uh, hey, now. I don't know about that. You don't trust people like that, right? He's always smiling. He seems kind. Or maybe more timid. <laughs> Come on now. Look at me so pitifully. To Sarah, you seem steadfast and strong. And jealous. Actually, I wanted to ask something. Gosh, feels like you're asking in such a first things first way. I was on the way to my usual part-time job at a convenience store. It's a bad part of town, and I was aware of how dangerous it be out. I mean, but the night shift wages are good, so... Suddenly, someone attacked me. I can't remember what else happened then. But, sorry, I can't remember anything much. Well, neither can we. Right. Don't sweat it. Once you get home, go find a job. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Dang. This kid really went for the throat. Ugh. Job hunting. Steady work. 
Looks like he's being crushed under not only the immediate fear, but an uncertain future. He's having an existential crisis. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Jin Ibushi. Well, I'm a sixth grader. Meow, yeah, she's like 12. Brains are judged for you, kiddo. Don't call me a kid. I just introduced myself because you guys don't seem like anything special. Well, dang. Man, this kid is salty. <laughs> Do you remember anything about why you were brought to this place? Well, no. Mom was late coming home, so I stayed up to wait. And I heard the intercom, so I thought she was back and opened the door. Meow. A different grown-up was standing there. Meow. I can't remember anything else. Well, your mom must hate you. <laughs> Thanks. Jin. Don't give me those looks, Woof. I'm a strong boy, meow. He's acting tough, but he must be scared. You're a tough kid. We need to acknowledge the fact that he's a tough kid. Of course, meow. Don't think I'm just a regular kid, Woof. Did I'll not say you were. I'll def definitely not. I'll definitely make those kids that first kid. <laughs> meow. Yeah, no, definitely <laughs> not a regular kid. Hmm. You might just be right, Jin. We'll have, we'll have them make up for what they did. I gave them a pat on the head. Pat, pat. There, there. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Well, you seem nice, Big Sis Sarah. I'm okay trusting you, meow. Big Sis Sarah? Big Sis? Huh? It's not Big Bro, is it? Well, maybe I got it all wrong, meow. STOP MAKING ANIMAL NOISES! That's not the problem. If I had a little brother, I wonder if he'd talk to me like that. Are you, are you okay? Sorry. If you've calmed down, could you talk to me? Um, I'll say I'm Kana Kizuchi. She's able to talk now? Kana, could you tell me more about yourself? Okay. Uh, I'm in middle school, and, um, um, it's okay. You don't need a rush. I was coming home with my big sister. We were eating ice cream. We were just walking along and talking about what to have for dinner. Suddenly... Some scary people came out from a black car parked on the road. I see. It must have been frightening. Yes. Her sister. What she just said makes it sound like the two of them were both kidnapped, but... There's only Kana here. Just a hunch, but I feel like it would be bad to ask about it now. Uh... I kind of want to ask. Let's I kind of want to ask too, but like I also don't want to ask right now but to I, like upset her. But I kind of want to ask anyway. I mean, you do it because you're the one with the mouse here. You weren't with your sister? With her. I was with her. Sister. My sister. Oh shit! What did I, what did I do? Hey, what did you do? <laughs> oh. Um, I think I messed up. I think you messed up too. Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Oh, oh shit! Oh, why did we ask? Oh no! We're never doing that again. Why did I ask? <laughs> yeah. Never bring up her sister. Sarah, how's Connor looking? It looks like she's passed out. Damn it. This is some messed up shit. She died? What the hell did this poor girl do, huh? Does this culprit even got a heart? He's like, this isn't some joke. Thing. I, I don't like this. This is too awful. Just too- Hey now, everybody. Don't lose your fool. You've got your friendly policeman here. Jeez. Oh. Hey, Keiji. You're the reliable one here. 
What should we do? You dare change your tune. Well, first things first. Why don't we confirm that each of us have found... What each of us have found in the That sounds like a good plan. That's just what I was thinking of saying. See, I picked up this thing. Okay. Now that we're moving on, I think this is a good place to leave off. Okay. Well, we've met everyone. Who's your favorite? I like KG. I do like KG. I like KG and So. Oh, and yeah. Kai. Dude, I that also like Kai. Yeah, I was about to yeah. say Kai. That kid is salty, though. That, yeah, I know. Like, dang. Yeah. What you coming at All people right. for? Well, I guess we'll see what we found in the next episode. Whoop whoop. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.